especially after August 4, children are in trauma. So we thought, although we're small, to help schools, to help some children to be able to come back to school, and in specific, children with special needs. So this school is inclusive, and we would like to help as well those marginalized kids. They are less than one mile away from where the explosion uh, took place, and uh, their school basically is damaged. I came the, the very next day. Uh, it was horrible. Uh, everything was down. We had a carpet of glasses. I cried out loud because I was thinking, my God, every summer we were doing something, bits and pieces, renovating here and there, and in a moment everything was shattered. This school uh, really represents the rebirth of a nation and Armenian people that came to Beirut. There's a total disappointment, but it's also a statement of faith to look at the damage and say, this is only material, there's the moral, the spiritual, we'll take care of. Uh, when you have, not on any institution, but you have a vital ministry, which is educating generations in, a, in the Christian way, in a good educational way, uh, you don't want to lose it. We thank God for the past ministry, and we look forward to many more years of Christian ministry in education and congregational life. God is good to us, and our partners are good to us. They blessed us, they helped us. We wanted to share His blessings with other people as well. We cannot survive without hope. We will rebuild and we will rise again. I am thankful to all our partners, to everybody who is extending uh, a helpful hand. We are really grateful. Thank you.